H-Town, we're back in studio with one of the baddest saxophonists, flautists, writers, producers ever on the planet. I want you to show some love to Najee, everybody. All and right. the crowd goes, wow. <laughs> Welcome to Houston, my friend. Oh, it's great to be here, man. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you have a concert me. tonight with Rochelle Farrell. I do, yes. We, we, we're very, very excited. You know, Rochelle and I have worked several times over the years. We've toured together. But it's very rare we come together on the same stage anymore, you know. So. She is quite the accomplished songbird. I love her. Absolutely. She has a range that just about matches your sex, doesn't she? <laughs> Probably higher, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah. So, Najee, for folk who are maybe not familiar with you or haven't heard yeah. from you in a long time, can we do a little background? Let us know sure. how you got started. Oh, well, how did this I started, all come to be? I started as a kid in New York City, and I was a kid that carried his dream on his back. I mean, my friends always say, man, you always had that sax and that flute. And that's true, you know. And then uh, when I left high school, I did my first world tour at the age of 18, uh, touring all over the world for the USO. Then I worked with the legendary singer Benny King for a summer. Then I went to college and I came back and went on tour with Shaka Khan. In 1986, I signed my very first album deal with Capitol Records, uh, Capitol EMI Records. And uh, that album ended up being a platinum record. The first two albums with that record label, the last two gold. Since that time, we've had major success, you know, all the way up till now. I'm a major proponent of dreams do come true. I believe that, yes. Age 18, around the world? Yes, I did, yes. Sure did. At that time, what what sound were you mentoring? Who was feeding you from from the Woodwin area or the big band sound? You know, I was a product of New York City education where I grew up. And uh, when I was in high school, I had the opportunity to study under Dr. Billy Taylor, the late Dr. Billy wow. Taylor, at Jazzmobile in New York City. So every Saturday for $5 a year, Students such as myself got to study with people like Jimmy Heath and Frank Foster, all the great legends of that, of our time. And, you know, I didn't realize how much that was grooming me for where I am today. So, uh, but during that time when I was going around the world, it was actually an R&B band. You know, we were a show band. But, uh, you know, at the time I was still studying, keeping up with my studies in jazz and classical. And, uh, you know, thank God I did because here I am still to this day. You know, so, yeah. Master musician Najee in town tonight with Rochelle Farrell. Tickets are still available at the Arena Theater. You want to get out and have a great night of music, you need to hook up with Najee and check out Rochelle. Now, this musical background, this this mentoring and, 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 and the artist you just named, that fed into a bit of your week with uh, our friends over at Cashmere yes, High School, right? That's right. Yes, Conrad Johnson Foundation, um, who I've been associated with for approximately 15 years now, I think. Well, let me see. How long is that? Two, 2003 is when okay. I first started with them. And, uh, you know, since that time, I've been several times. I've come here when they have their big gala and participated. Last year, I couldn't be a part of it. But this year, hopefully, if my schedule allows, I'll be here on January 14th to support the upcoming uh, event they have. You know, which is here. To, let me just say real quick, here to support children who are looking to advance their music aspirations with instruments and whatever financial support people can give. And even if you volunteer, you know, as a, as a mentor or a teacher, you know, great help. Do you find the kids as enthusiastic about the music as you were? I do. I do meet some. There are two of my students, uh, which I took on, I only take on maybe three or four people at a time, but two of my students have gone on to have full scholarships to one of the biggest music schools in the country, uh, Berkeley School of Music. So, uh, and how I do it is we do it via Skype, you know, wow. because they could be in any city around where one kid was actually a, a student whose family was in the military and they were stationed in Korea. So we would spend time over Skype doing the lessons, you know, or whatever hour he was and wherever I was in the world. And here he is today, full scholarship to Berkeley. Yeah. Giving back is a part of his DNA, and he's got <laughs> one of the, the greatest sounds ever. Uh, Najee, tonight at the Arena Theater with Rochelle Farrell, a part of the People Station on Magic 102.1. I, I see you happen to have an instrument over there, young man. What, oh, what do I have here? What is, oh, that, what is that thing there? I have no idea, man. It's a what? flute, but I, you know, <laughs> I, I don't go anywhere without it, so, you know. So, um, let me sprinkle a little Bobby Humphrey on you. Let me, <laughs> one of the flautists that I'm familiar with. What, what can you play for us oh, right man, now? Oh, man, I don't know. Can let you me see. Let's see what just, I can do. How about a scale? Let me put the pressure on me with Bobby, so I don't know. <laughs> The 
crowd was mesmerized. <laughs> the people all gathered, and they just followed him as he played his flute right down to the sea. <laughs> Can you play any funk on that thing? Of course I can, man. You know, what, what do you want to hear? I mean, you know. Well, I'm a big George Duke guy. Man. Oh, let me see. I don't know if I know any George Duke songs, but... What well, just hit me. <laughs> the funky flautist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Najee. Najee's thing. You did a cover of an Anita Baker song, man. Yes. Just rocked wow. my world oh, to this you. day. I absolutely love that. Who inspires you now, man? Oh man, you know I listen to a lot of a lot yeah. of different things. Yeah. I'm not really uh, one of those guys who like all I listen to is jazz. You know, I was telling my friend the other day, man, I was rocking to uh, Craig Mack out in L.A. the other day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean, sir. Yes, you sir. You know, I mean, I just love good music. Yeah. I believe in what Duke Ellington said. There's only two kinds of music: yes, sir. good or bad. Yes, sir. Know, so. You know, I'm really not inhibited by genres. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of schizophrenic when it comes to music as a player because, you know, I like to hear a lot of different things, you know. Excellent. Um, Najee, tonight, Arena Theater with Rochelle and Pharrell. You're going to get a full package, a great sound, and it's, it's a great night to get out and just enjoy, as he just said, good music. Personally, I can't thank you enough for stopping by the station. Oh, thank you, my But before friend. you leave, I'd like to get your social media address so we can follow you. Absolutely, yes. Najee Official on both Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, Facebook is actually Najee, the official page, and it's NajeeOfficial.com for my website. But if you just put my name in, it'll all come right up. So. And I, if you do me a favor, yes, sir. just follow me. All right. Hey, y'all, this is Najee. Hey, y'all, this is Najee. And you're listening to The People Station. And you're listening to The People Station. Magic 102.1. Magic 102.1. Ta-da! My man. My brother. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Hey, all right. see y'all later. Right there. All, all, all in right. Oh, see y'all later? Yeah. I forgot she had that camera.